I'm Beverly Banner Brown. This is my canine friend and companion, Sophie Ann Sunshine. And today our topic on radical gratitude relates to having ideal interludes. What are ideal interludes? Well, first of all, they're free of charge. Sophie has them all the time when I give her a bone or a treat, when I take her for a ride or a walk. And sometimes when we're just sitting quietly while I meditate or do prayer, or while I'm uh, painting, uh, or working on a book, or just having someone over who she loves and who I love. The point is that those ideal interludes are those moments, those absolutely perfect moments that happen all through the day. The question is, are we paying attention? Are we noticing as life goes along what is really really important. In my case, it can be something as simple as biting into a beautiful organic apple. Sometimes just looking at the skin and the subtle colorations makes me so happy. I feel high, a natural high. And it gives me ideas for paintings. It gives me ideas for uh, more creative projects. Sometimes it's an awareness that I feel the presence of angels. And sometimes it's something as simple as taking a piece of bark from a palm tree and painting on it. I don't know if you can see that properly at the moment, but this is a sunburst that I did a little while back. I use acrylics and watercolors and I varnish it with a water-based glaze. And when I'm doing that, when I'm creating these paintings, I call it co-creating because I'm bringing it through from spirit, I'm just a, a messenger. I'm in a zone of such happiness, such relaxation. The world drops away and there is no time. And whatever I might have been worried about or however tired I might have been feeling, it just goes. It's not real because I'm in that state of absolute bliss and love and divine flow while I'm doing all these things. And so basically, the message today about radical gratitude is that radical gratitude grows exponentially as we identify those ideal interludes, those instants when we can look at someone we love and just savor their essence, see them as soul, not just as two eyes that happen to be blue or brown, and maybe their skin is the color of chocolate, or maybe it's white or pink like mine. No, it allows us, by setting the intention to go further and deeper with what we're observing, to really let ourselves just, just be with the process of life. Okay, so if you can get down and enjoy ourselves. And again, it doesn't have to cost anything. And it can. Sometimes you'll be in a very fancy restaurant and you'll be eating some incredibly delicious morsel and you'll have that feeling of, ah, oh, I love my life. I love the taste of this. I love the fragrances in this place. I love the music that's on in the background. Whatever it is. For each of us, it's different at different times in our lives. The important thing is to cultivate that habit pattern of noticing, of being with it, of allowing it to thrive and expand ideal interludes. My wish for you is that you have them, as I do now, after years of getting used to noticing them and appreciating them deeply, all through your day and all through your night. I'm Beverly Banner Brown. If I can help you with this in any way, please feel free to leave me commentaries. If you've gotten something out of this that feels favorable, please leave me a like. And if you want to connect with me more personally, you're free to email me at coachhq at gmail.com. That's C-O-A-C-H, another H, at Q at gmail.com. I love hearing from you, and I always make an effort to reply as quickly as I can. Bye for now. Until next time.